Welcome to the School of Foreign Service, the oldest school of international affairs in the United States, and the very best school of international affairs in the world. The School of Foreign Service exists in the broader context of Georgetown University. Utraque unum, both one. The blue and the gray. The gray means that as we study here at Georgetown, we can't just gaze into the blue, but we have to look into the gray and make the changes required to repair the evils of the past and the evils of the present. We have an obligation to ask the tough questions. We have an obligation to challenge conventional wisdom and to think outside the box, because whatever we've been doing inside the box has not resolved the kind of existential crises that we are currently facing. If we here at the school are doing our job, your diplomacy and sometimes even your core beliefs will be tested. Tough conversations are gonna happen in your personal lives, in your academic lives, and your professional lives. We're not here to protect you from difficult views. What we need to do is really try to understand where other people are coming from. In viewpoint diversity, makes for um, a better learning experience. We hope that we can provide kind of practice for that by creating a safe space, not a comfortable space. And while this campus is a space and must be a space for you to do that questioning, sitting in this hall with you are not just people who relish the verbal sparring and the rough and tumble of debate, the intellectual engagement. Sitting among you, are Gazans who have lost so many loved ones and whose families are now searching for food, for shelter, and for education for their children. Sitting among you are Ukrainian students whose parents are routinely sheltering in basements and subways in fear of attack. Sitting among you are Sudanese facing one of the great crises of hunger um, brought around by conflict. Sitting among you are those who have been forced to flee their homes and their countries in the largest wave of forced migration the world has ever seen. And sitting among you are soldiers who have served or are serving their country, defending freedom, fighting off invaders, or defending the rights of their states to exist. There are people who have lived and are living through the trauma of the theories that we study here. Show them the respect they deserve, even as we disagree. But let's also remember one other thing. We are a school of diplomacy. In our classrooms, we will learn about the history of diplomacy. We'll examine case studies. But as we study diplomacy, our task is also to inculcate within ourselves the practice of diplomacy. We must model a way to work together. If we can't do it, who will?